Oi, yay, oi, yay, oi, yay. The temporal court of the world public is now in session. The more or less honorable judge visible presiding. Be seated. Peoples of the world, I have reviewed your petition and I find the following to be righteous and true. That a criminal banking and extortion empire was created in a land formerly known as Palestine and now illegally known as Israel. I have studied all of the documents and briefs pertaining to the historical record of actions, events and incidents that led to the illegal and immoral founding of this parasitic crime syndicate upon the previously named territory of Palestine. I find all arguments for legitimacy and continuance of the illegal state of Israel to be untenable and declare all of them null and void. I declare on this date, September 22, 2011, the recognition of the state of Palestine on all lands occupied by those so named and defined as Palestinians as they existed prior to the First World War. I command that all usurpers going by the designation of Israelis be immediately expelled from all of the territories so named and relocated to any country that will have them and failing that to a secure walled facility where they can be quarantined for the public safety and good. I hereby command that all of the assets of the illegal state of Israel be seized as well as the assets of all Zionist entities and sympathizers the world over. I command the dissolution of all central banks, which are no more than organized crime laundries and counterfeiting operations, presently under the control of Zionist interests and headed up by the satanic Rothschild family. I command and demand that all assets of the Rothschild crime family and their surrogates and associates be seized and held in trust for the world public for wide dissemination amongst the victims of this vampire clan as soon as is practicable and possible. I command that all world politicians proven to be complicit in the drive towards world subjugation under the rule of Talmudic Israelis and Zionists be arrested and held for trial under the charges of crimes against humanity. I command that the Federal Reserve be dissolved and all serving officers put under arrest and held for trial. I command that all police forces be stripped of all authority and all members placed under review for previous acts of suppression and violence against the citizens of any and every country so affected. I command that Wall Street and all stock exchanges be rigorously investigated and all criminal actors presently engaged to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. I command that the entirety of world media, publishing, entertainment and any corporation and company such as Monsanto that was purchased by the theft of public monies from criminal banking institutions be taken out of the hands they are presently in and administered by non-criminal professionals of proven provenance in respect of truth and full disclosure. I declare APAC, the ADL, and all Zionist extortion gangs to be declared hostile enemy combatants and the assets of all these entities seized and their charters revoked. I demand and so command that all Zeto forces of the Zionist armies for total occupation immediately remove themselves from the countries of Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya and Sundry and surrender their rank and membership in this murder organization effective immediately. All members of this mass murder machine who are found to be incriminated in violence against the world public are to be detained and held for trial. I recognize Hamas as the legitimate voice of the Palestinian people and summarily demand Mahmoud Abbas remove himself from any further representation of the Palestinian people. I remove the authority of the United Nations and command the formation of an independent body to replace it. I announce to the people of the world that Israel has been incontrovertibly proven to have been behind the 911, 77 and Madrid train station attacks and those who were so employed at this and all of their agents and accessories are to be arrested and held for trial on the crime of mass murder. I call for the arrest and detainment of all Mossad employees and agents around the world for crimes against humanity 
and demand the rearrest of the three dual national Mossad agents who were caught spying in Iran. I declare all kosher taxes on the people of the world to be at an end, effective immediately. I call for a full and complete investigation of all major historical events of the last hundred years to determine whether or not there has been systematic revisionism at work. I declare it is impossible for 125,000 so-called Holocaust survivors to be living in the U.S. and needing specialized medical care as per the petition of two Israeli citizens employed as representatives of the United States government since that many persons were not liberated from the camps in the first place. I demand the return of all homeland security monies that were given in the majority to Zionist entities in America to the exclusion of all other entities. I rule and command that no Israeli or Zionist sympathizer be allowed to serve in any political or legal manner in any government anywhere and that it be forbidden to engage in banking or the law or any endeavor where the public may be placed at risk of the repetition of similar events associated with them over previous centuries and amply demonstrated by their expulsion from the majority of countries of the world for the same crimes over and over again. I officially declare an end to the promotion and perception of Khazar and Ashkenazi victimhood and define them as predators upon the body and fortunes of the public at large. I officially recognize that they cry out in pain when they strike you and declare that the use of the term anti-Semitic be defined as a hate crime and an illegal act in the pronouncement of it and be punished by terms of confinement soon to be set and by public ridicule and scorn. I so affirm that political correctness is also a crime and is to be dealt with swiftly and comprehensively whenever it rears its ugly little head. I demand a full investigation into Zionist control of all representatives, organizations of alternative sexual practices to see the essence of the degenerate work and to determine whether or not these organizations are used as war material against other religions as well as the culture and continuance of whatever country they are operative in. I command that the Talmud be formally recognized as the official Bible of Satanism and that the practitioners of it now be seen and defined as the parishioners of the synagogue of Satan. I declare all Noahide laws invalid from this moment in every country where they've been shoehorned into the charters and constitutions of whatever country it may apply to. I officially remove all authority from all persons worldwide who are sitting judges in any and all capacities until their integrity and value can be proven to an impartial committee of their peers. I demand that all individuals in any and every capacity connected to government, industry, banking, the military, law enforcement and any organization or operation that affects the public in the day-to-day -day immediately come forth and inform on their comrades concerning any crimes or malfeasance and betrayal of the public trust of which they may know anything at all under penalty of suffering the fate of their associates should they not act expeditiously and at once. All international corporations are now to be considered operating illegally and are commanded to stop and desist in all illegal activities or be subject to the full weight of temporal and cosmic law. I declare all of the proceedings as law and my authority to do so is affirmed by the cosmos that is headed up to the eyelids with the relentless shovel loads of shit that the people of the world are daily being buried in. I command and implore the heavenly hosts to descend upon this planet and wipe it clean of iniquity and all manner of criminal enterprise so engaged in by the so-called elite immediately. No appeals to the contrary of anything here said are allowed or be considered at any time from this moment on. So say I, Chief Justice of the Temporal Court of the World Public, the more or less honorable, less visible. The court is now adjourned.